a short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. The Japanese began the war from the air at Pearl Harbor. They have been repaid many fold, and the end is not yet. With this bomb, we have now added a new and revolutionary increase in destruction. It is an atomic bomb. It is a harnessing of the basic power of the universe. The force from which the sun draws its power has been loosed against those who brought war to the far east. We are now prepared to destroy more rapidly and completely every productive enterprise the Japanese have in any city. We shall destroy their docks, their factories, and their communications. Let there be no mistake, we shall completely destroy Japan's power to make war. This is a tale of two watches, I like to call this, from history, and um, it has to do with the atomic bomb. And um, these are two different wrist watches that met two very different fates. Um, the first one right here is a Japanese watch, and it's a wrist watch, and it was melted or destroyed by the atomic bomb. And this came from a museum over in Japan. We have a few items that were atomic bomb related. This watch is Theodore Dutch Van Kurt's watch. And, and this is the watch he wore when he dropped the atomic bomb. And um, it's, a, it's a military watch and it has the um, uh, glow in the dark hands. And we have it set kind of at the time when the atomic bomb was dropped and it, it, it has his name engraved, it says Van Kirk and 97, which was his bomb group. It's really hard to see, it's, it, it was engraved and he obviously wore it a lot so it's a little worn down. Um, but this is his watch and supposedly worn at the time when he dropped the atomic bomb. And, and, and I featured this on our Facebook page and other social media a few times. Um, I, I just think it's really interesting to have these two side by side, you know, the two different watches. And, um, you know, this is a picture of uh, Dutch Van Kurt, and this is a facsimile of the flight record, and it's signed by some of the other uh, guys that were on the en Enola Gay, the, the, the plane that dropped the atomic bomb. Um, and, you know, the, I, I got the, the atomic bomb related items first, and um, uh, about two, two, three years ago, um, someone offered me Van Kurtz's watch, and of course, um, you know, because we had the other ones, uh, I jumped on it right away. And I, I just think it's such a powerful display, and um, I, I try to share this on the anniversary of the atomic bomb on August 6th every year. Um, but what, what, what an amazing piece of history right here. The other artifact in the back is uh, an alarm type clock and this was also melted by the atomic bomb and you can't see it but the, the hands are frozen at that time you know the, the, the atomic bomb went off I believe it was 816 uh, Hiroshima time and uh, it's hard to see like without putting a light in there but, th but th this, this clock was frozen in time and I thought what a powerful artifact for you know to, to document that moment with the freezing of time at that moment um, again this came from uh, a museum over in Japan we bought a few items from them and um, you know we've had it for a long time and people always ask is it radioactive well no 
the half-life of the radiation on the atomic bomb was real low and so that there's no radiation da uh, danger of this at all.